Hi hey everybody, I'm sitting at the food pantry waiting in line and I'll tell you what, I'm crossing my fingers so that it does not start to downpour again because, oh my word, I'm going to turn you around so you can see the sky. Look at that sky guys, holy mackerel, that is something else. Okay guys, I am back and I don't know exactly what you're seeing, so I'm going to have to keep peeking at my phone um, and hope to God you guys are seeing everything okay. Um, I've got a laundry tote over here to put stuff in as I go through instead of just stacking it on the floor. And things are just kind of all over. They just kind of had everything just in boxes and bags and not everything was bad and um i'm not sure um how to go about this just open stuff up and go through it um i did get um a bottle of laundry soap oh let's put some light on the situation here we once again have a another new maintenance van so i'm back to square one i'm getting my light bulbs changed Go figure, and I'm gonna go through the um, toiletry bag. We have some Alka Seltzer. That's kind of nice to have. Um, and I really like this. Um, it's nice. Um, keeps your mouth nice and fresh and clean. We have some Pro Enamel um, toothpaste. Some Arm and Hammer deodorant. Up oh, we have like one, two. We actually have four of those total. Sunshine. We have a bar of laundry or laundry soap, bar of body soap, and a roll of select size paper towels, which I will keep out because I am. Just finished my roll of paper towels. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go through this. We have some Kellogg's Special K Original. Um, sorry about my arm. And then I'm gonna keep this out because this will be my lunch. It is a extra large market side from Walmart uh, sausage trio pizza. That will be my lunch. Um, set it there for right now. I got this very large box of Hot Pockets. There's a 12 pack. They are the four meat and four cheese pizza ones. Um, I could take these out and put them in my freezer individually. Um, what else have I got in this bag? This looks like vegetables. Um, we have um mini cucumbers, that's kind of cool, green onions, some green um, peppers, bell peppers, we have a mango, I wanted to make sure I was looking at the right thing, then we have some, I want to show you the label, cilantro and then we have a couple of the um i'm not sure which ones these are but they are peppers there's no tag on them so i'm not sure and then we have some um bananas that are just perfect for making banana bread so what i'm gonna do with these is just set these beside me whoops i kind of knocked you because i don't want these to get Whoops, all squashed. And yes, my floor is clean, guys. Before anybody says anything. Um, I have a, looks like wheat, French bread. Um, I'll just stuff that there because I don't want it crushed. tasty -O cereal. I do have a blueberry pie. I'll set that aside over here. 
unsalted um, crackers. And like I said, a lot of this stuff was loose. We have um, eggs kind of got shook up a little bit. Some eggs. And you really don't want to go by the date on these, but I will do the egg test. Um, here. We have another bag with... Oh, perfect. I almost bought me some because I want to make another batch of Calpanin. So that's awesome. And then we have an onion and a few potatoes in here, which would be about the right amount of potatoes to make Calpanin with. I just don't have any bacon, so that's the only thing I would have to pick up. Um, Set them right there. The rest of stuff in here, the um, lady from the cooperative extension was there. We got a set of measuring cups and some recipes. If you can pause that and I'll turn it over. And then let's see if there's any recipes on the back you may want. Let me pull that up there close. You can pause that, and then you can pause this, and there's the back of that. You can pause it, and then this one is crunchy, and I think I had this last month, and there's the back of that one. Uh, and she also gave me, and I'm so glad to see this, it's to take lids off because I've had a really hard time getting lids off lately. So that's awesome to have those little gifts. And then we got a snack bag of Ritz cheese crispers. Well, that's pretty cool. Got a very large turkey breast, which will have to go in the crock pot this weekend. And then these came untied when I took and put them in the basket. Um, they're white bowl. Well, anyways, rolls. <laughs> um, oh, let's set these on top of stuff so I don't get crushed. And then a really big bag of chicken leg quarters. I'll leave them right in this laundry basket. I actually got three of these laundry baskets. Um, at Walmart, they were in a laundry car, grocery cart next to the um, trash bin outside. So I was like, I'll take that. <laughs> we got a Suddenly Salad. Oh my gosh, I love these things. This would actually make a really good meal with some turkey. Then we got banana muffin mix. We got a No Man's Land beef jerky. Oh, it's the shredded kind of stuff. I'm just going to drop all this in there. A cheeseburger macaroni and cheese kind of meal. Sunflower kernels. I have the shakes. Original pasta sauce. I'll leave that right in this box. Spaghetti. Um, we have a can of corn. Peach slices. Cut green beans. Diced tomatoes. Um, vegetarian chili. And Italian style wedding with meatball and chicken um, soup. And a jar of peanut butter. Alright, let's go on to this box next to me. We have some hazelnuts, some shelled pecans, and 
dried fruit mix. We'll put that in this basket. And then we have some dry roasted almonds. Pistachios in shell. Then we have some fully cooked um, pork patties with soy protein. I put that in the laundry basket because that's meat. Beef stew. Um, I'll put that in here. This is the chunk chicken breast. Um, frozen blueberries. Now we have two little orange juices that are frozen. I'm going to let them thaw. We have sun-made raisins. I'm sorry about sorting as I go, guys, but it just makes it easier for me to put it all away. We have some, um, oh my gosh, what do I call these? Green split peas. Black turtle beans, applesauce, mixed uh, fruit, um, yellow clean peaches, um, spaghetti sauce, um, diced tomatoes. Another can of cut green beans, and then whole kernel corn, and another jar of peanut butter. Now we have some more um, information, and we have a skillet pizza. So if you want to pause that and get that recipe. And inside, we have this information if you want to pause that. And then we have asparagus, peas, and pasta. That looks really good. I didn't, I don't think I got any asparagus. Guys, my sugar is crashing. Let me get something in my stomach. Hold on. Okay, guys, it's coming up. It was down to 53. And right now it's at 72, so it's coming up. Let's get back to work. Um, where was I at? I think I just showed you that. Um, I have a box here that's kind of like a blind box. Blind box. Um, let me set the new box up. Let me out of the way. Let's open this blind box up. Sorry, I'm slurring, guys. It's it, It'll be okay. <laughs> I don't let nothing get me down. I don't let nothing stop me. I have a side of orange juice, and these orange juices are here that are frozen, so um, I ate some chocolate, had a piece of toast, and uh, put some peanut butter on it, and my milk was spoiled, so I opened the soda pop and it's coming up. We're good. Life. I got a package of uh, hot dogs. Put that in the meat box. And, oh, goody. Um, fully cooked beef. Taco filling. Um, I'm not sure if this is Taco Bell filling or what it is, but this is actually pretty good. Um, I do add more meat to it because it's not very meaty. Um, I'm happy to see these because I'm going to make some apple butter and can it. If you haven't seen my um, dandelion jelly canning recipe um, video, please go and watch that. I'll link it in the comment section. Um, oh, these are thawed. These are fully cooked chicken patties. Um, I'm kind of concerned about them being thawed. I'll check them out, um, and we'll see if they're okay. Now let's take some research. <laughs> we have a, but yet, yeah, this is frozen. <laughs> oh, how funny. What a 
right? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm going to act like I'm drunk now because my sugar crashed and now it's coming back up and it's, it's, we're going to have fun, guys. We're going to have fun. This is a cucumber. No, it's a zucchini. It's a zucchini, guys. It's a damn zucchini. Listen to me. We have a frozen zucchini. Vegetables. Where's, there's my vegetables. Okay, we have a head of lettuce to go with the taco meat. And we have, ooh, yummy, cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese. That is cut. Yes, it says cottage cheese. Oh, I took my glasses off my face. Put them back on, Laura, so you can see what you're reading. And then we have some of this yummy. This is good. This is the vanilla yogurt. Um, this is really, really good yogurt, guys. If you get a chance to buy some, it is really good, nice, smooth yogurt. And then we have our sour cream. This must be my USDA box. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. We have... It just says Lakeview Cheese. Oh, here we go. Turn it around, Laura. And it's Monterey Jack. Oh, my goodness. I love Monterey Jack. This makes some awesome just cheese and crackers and pepperoni sliced up. Yes. Now we have a couple of onions. Yes, I said onions. Then we have some oranges. I can't eat oranges because of my stomach, but you can infuse water with these, and it's delicious. And then some more taters to make cow cannon with. I have Irish in me, and I absolutely love cow cannon. I have a recipe where I actually show how to make it. So that's also in my little... If you look under Cooking with Haunted Ramblings in my videos, um, there will be a playlist, and you'll find that. We have chocolate giallo. That's good, especially right now. Roast, oh gosh, I love these. Roasted garlic, like a, well, it's not a single serve. It's like two good sized servings, or if you serve dainty servings, it's four. Um, apple cherry juice. That really does not bring your sugar up. But if I'm really desperate, this will. Um, pancake syrup. I have done that. Um, that actually can go over there in that box. The stuffing mix. Hmm. I have the turkey. I have the stuffing mix. I have potatoes. We know what we're having for dinner. We have pancakes. And then we have rice. And then we have grated Parmesan cheese. I am out of Parmesan cheese, so this is really cool and it's good till September, so even though I don't use a whole lot of it, that will last. That goes refrigerated stuff. We have original mac and cheese dinner. Cool. Oh, what do we got here? We have wafer bars. Oh my goodness, a whole box of them. Guys, if you can get some of these, they are superb. These are really, really good. Um, they're crispy. They're peanut buttery. I, I just, I, I can't say enough about these wafer bars. Get some if you can afford to. Trust me, you'll love them. Then we have some gum ice cube breakers. Um, and, well, actually, those need to go over there. Then we have Jiffy Mix. Oh my goodness, you guys are going to get a kick out of me before I'm done today. We have ramen noodles. If you're going to make um, anything and you need ch the chicken broth, I have made golden onion soup. And you can take the little packets out of these and make, if you're making French onion soup and you don't have the bouillon or the beef broth, you can make the beef broth with the beef flavored Raymond soup. Just use the, the packets out of it. Rotini soup. Oh, that looks delicious. 
Um, that goes there. I think I threw some canned foods in there. Spaghetti, organic, really? Okay, guys, we're going to have a try me on this. We're going to try that. I've never seen organic SpaghettiOs before. I only have pork and beans. I love pork and beans. We got hot dogs to go with them, too. We have beanies and weenies for dinner one of these nights. We have chunk white tuna and chunk white chicken. Good food. All right, one more box, guys. One more box. And we have Kashi by Kids Organic Superfood Bites. Mixed berry. I've never had these, guys. I guess I get to try them, don't I? Oh, we have more frozen. We have shredded hash browns. That goes in my frozen foods. We have red velvet frozen cookie dough. Oh, I guess that's why it's in the frozen foods. We'll have to try that. We have some beef patty mix. And... Well, it's it's beef patty mix. It's hamburger and whatever else they put in it. And we have basil pesto. Uh, I've never really used this. Wouldn't even know how to use it. We'll try it. Um, we have loaded sausage bites. Are these really supposed to be? Oh, I guess so. Turkey sausage and egg and cheese. Okay. Okay, I get it. So you have to heat these. These are actually like a breakfast kind of thing. And I have two. Okay, gotcha. Oops, then we have mechanically separated turkey. Ground turkey. Then we have two. Are they like really thick? Hamburgers. I think they're hamburgers, guys. There's no label. So I'm assuming these are two really thick, like, they got holes in them. What do they call these things? Like, chopped patties or something like that. I can't remember what they call them. I see. Oh, it's just a number. Okay. Well, anyways, there's some meat. And now we have... Whoops. Slippery. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Yep, that's what it is. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And then we have my all-time favorite um, pork loin chops. Center cut pork chops. We have a package of four nice pork chops. And these are always good. So, is that it? That's it. That's it, guys. All right, hold on a second. Okay, guys. Um, whoo, a little too close and a little too shaky. I um, <laughs> I've been having a lot of problems with my sugar dropping because of being really sick. I'm not able to eat like I should. So, um. And I'm not taking my glimepiride because my sugar is dropping so much. And um, so sorry about the um, quick little pause and um, gobbling down toast and peanut butter and uh, a couple little miniature candies and a drink. And, and now I'm kind of like loopy because my sugar went down so low and then it shot up and now it's coming back down. And in a little bit, I'm going to crash and I'm going to sleep. So um, I want to thank everybody for coming along with me and sorry about the goofiness. It is what it is. When you're diabetic, it's to be expected and it's all good. I'm fine. Um, it's, it's my life. I'm used to it. Um, I've been going down this since 2014, so it's all good. Um, anyways, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, I'm sorry I got a little goofy, but, you know, it is what it is. I am always so very blessed with everything that I get. And 
um, usually there's a few things that I can't eat that I have to pass on to others. And this month, um, I have to say, wow, I don't think there's much that I really need to pass on to others. Um, I can no longer eat rice at all. I used to be able to eat rice on a little bit. And um, since this new problem has risen, rice is out. But I can use rice to make um, rice bags um, for crafting. Um, for, uh, like, you know, to put on, like, to sore muscles and that kind of thing. So I can utilize the rice that way. I have, like, three bags because I don't eat much rice. So, um... Guys, hang out because the turkey will be coming this weekend. I have other things coming and I will be putting out a video that will talk about what's going on, why there hasn't been very many videos, and about what's going on with my health. And, um, anyways, so I won't get into it too much here. I hope everyone has a blessed day. And everyone, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It feels so good to be back and talking to you all. So I will talk to everybody down below in the comments. Um, if I'm a little slow getting back to you, it's because I've taken a nap. So everybody, bye. I'll talk to you later. Love y'all. Bye, guys.